Greetings, all praising King Silasi, Ja, the master. Yes, the king gives I and I servants command to war with demon man. This man actively consuming the minds of those around I and I as to encompass I and I round about in an attempt to make I and I one of them. Who are they? What did Bob say? He said, top ranking. They don't want us to unite. Top ranking. All they want us to do is keep on fuss and fight. Because them are the ones that benefit from all the activities down below for the most part. Design I stand strong and don't allow Babylon access. Well you know most people now serve Babylon on those devices. And the Babylon claim to serve those people on those same devices. Yet everything Babylon does is scripted. The Babylon does not talk about one thing or another unless it is doing so for a reason. And most of the reason is promotion of that subject matter because it is that subject that paves the way for the programming. Did the Babylonians at the top of the chain put their interest in particular projects over others and in manipulating the inner workings of the supply chain which forms the outcome of these projects, they are able to get the results that benefit them. We hear about this fake news, the new scare. We're not hearing about ISIS now. This is fake news. And This is an attempt to get all to worship and serve the beast, in this case, the AI, which is to take all people's activities and make an image thereof so that man can judge according to man's desire. The material that is of no use can be put aside and that material or as the Babylonians may call dirt can be useful for their ends. How much dirt did the Babylon have on the pedophile, enough to get him to make a fool of himself, and yet, what does a man like that care? He's at the end of the line, playing with little girls, boys, 
it's no longer pleasurable. That a man like that is a miser. And so there is a significant power in these operations to control the minds of the masses, which in return come to worship and serve the beast by feeding the beast so that the beast grows. And the Babylonian believes the Babylonian can ride the beast to war with the Creator. I weigh! And the Babylonian fails because the beast turns on the Babylonian. Even so, as it is written. And yet the Babylonian has projected all energy towards this achievement that all the behavior be intercepted by the beast face through those devices and that the content generated for the worshipers caters to their fleshly desires. This ensures a gathering to encompass I and I to make an attempt to bring I and I to worship and serve the beast. For the I and I are the last to hold. Is the I and I separate from the world that those that are friends of the world are at odds with God? And that we are not of this world as pilgrims journeying to land of our own. And because of this, the Babylonian being all the wicked seek to destroy us by erasing our name our culture and the words that I speak. But a Babylonian has control over this content. Obviously, when the Babylonian gets the attention, It must only assure I and I people that we are right. The Christ proclaiming those that abase themselves to be exalted. The Babylonian way is opposite in each and every aspect that the Babylonian seeks to exalt himself and to live longer. And this, in the order of the Sadducee, is the true measure of blessedness, falsehood, an illusion because the Babylonian worships the master of deception. 
and fake news being the work that is carried out thereof to make an impression that the Babylonian news is real and that the I and I is not worthy to be heard. That the information goes to this AI, the man beast, having come from forth out of the earth by way of man's network of oppression. Controlled through a supply chain consisting of the earth, those raw materials that comprise the finished product. The finished product being as a god to the Babylonians, as an idol in the eyes of the I and I, because I, I and I do not observe these man-made artifacts to be gods. They cannot neither see, nor hear, nor speak. Now the Babylonians actively attempting to prove I and I is false by giving robots and other man-made products that they claim can see, hear, and speak. But this term in itself is speaking of a soul, a spirit from within that these idols do not possess. And this spirit is what gives sight and hearing and speech. Even the Christ said, I sheep will hear I voice. Is it not that other people can't read from the gospel and make a determination? Yet the determination is in vain because they were not of the flock. So those that have ears, let them hear that the Spirit gives life. The objective of the Babylonian is to get all under the Babylonian flag. This is through those corporations that are referred to as platforms all to come and join as the Babylonian claims say that this is for the unification. And the Babylonian always seek to use Lord's word against Lord's people. When the Babylonian says they're going to give us valuable information, how do they do so? Through trickery. That if they're reporting on a certain incident, like a mass shooting, that the Babylonian will pretend to act distressed and if the Babylonian is reporting on an event like a gathering of children for a Babylonian holiday, the Babylonian will act full of glee. And so as to project their the ideal emotions that they seek to see from 
their audiences and as to move those people in a particular direction, more so to get those people's trust. Because trust in this time is greater than love. Because you may love someone or say you love someone, yet do you trust that person? Because if you trust a person, you will love them. And in doing so, they can discredit those that they seek to destroy. That is I and I. Because the Babylonian is determined to connect all people to the Antichrist.